Hello everyone! Hello everyone! How are you? Nice to see you again! Thank you for stopping by! Welcome to my channel! I want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to all the new and previous subscribers for the support and the love and I really, 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 really appreciate it. Especially to those ones that spent uh, hours and, and, you know, spent the valuable time coming here and watching and supporting and uh, trying to lift the small channels so we won't get monetized. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This video will be part of uh, the Art Zebra of the Creative Collaboration uh, Community, the group, the Facebook group. And it's a uh, thanks for watching art uh, video hope. So after me and before me, you will see many, 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 many talented uh, creative people, artists and crafters that uh, they're doing the best to promote their work and the channels and their, you know, to be out there. And all of you loving people, give them love and support. And we are really, really grateful and thank you for that. And um, don't forget to try, if you can, to watch as many of us as you can. Uh, so play the list. You can see before and after many, 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 many beautiful creations. So this is uh, uh, hosted by Mary Jill Adam Abrams, sorry, and Cinnamon Cooney. They have a Facebook group, Creative. Cinnamon has a Facebook group, Creative Art Collaborations. So, in or those um, very talented ladies, in order to help us, uh, the small channels, they did this video hope. Sorry, I'm rubbing it too much, I know. So, uh, I will present you my junk journal. If you have watched my channel, you will know I make a lot of junk journals. So this is my latest creation. It took me ages and ages and ages. <laughs> it was a long process. And I really, really love that one. As soon as I saw those papers, it's uh, the papers are from Nectar's creation, Nectaria Kasakopoulou, and uh, it's a kit called Wanderer. And um, I really love those. And believe it or not, I have very few stamps, but uh, most of my stamps have this thing. They have, you know, the traveling and the hot air balloons and, you know, industrial thing, you will see it. So, uh, thank you, Merida. Thank you, Cinnamon. Cinnamon, thank you to everyone that's supporting. And let's go and start and what, uh, show you what I have done. So, this is the front cover. And uh, the cover is actually made, it's semi-hard. It's not actually too hard, but it's semi-hard. Oops. So it has a lot of metals. So I put metal corners. The cover is a canvas. It's a vintage uh, looking um, canvas that has a vintage looking map on a canvas. And uh, what I did, I placed metal corners. This uh, closer, it's actually a metal buttons that I put a wire so it will do the closer. All around I have done hand stitch. I have hand stitch it. Uh, I have the binding, let me show you the charm first. Here we have a real actually watch a uh, working clock and it works with batteries. So it's a working clock and the chain of the clock is here, it's hung here. So you can remove it and use it. And I made the charm and uh, in the charm I have put various uh, uh, beads and uh, acrylics and uh, charms and uh, this was given to me by the Mary Larson this also some beads also by me this one also and this beautiful 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 heart I love this heart and I don't have any other but I really love this heart and I thought it matches there so the binding it's not stitch on the, the signatures are not stitch on the uh, on the uh, spine I have put these metals and I uh, and put uh, made a hole on the metal or some of these metals and then put a brand in the hole, and this uh, brand uh, through the brand plus this uh, rope, if I may say so, if I must call it so, and it holds this uh, two signatures in place, and this is the back of it. Let me show it to you. 
And as you can see, it's a really stunning map, and we have this metal buttons, and for the buttons we have some wire, and the wire is the closer, and I have a chain, and a closer for, you know, necklace and bracelets and stuff like that here, and here it's hanging a, a small key from here. So, uh, let me open it. So, as I was telling you, these two signatures uh, are not stitched on the spine, and also the trick is that you can work, you can take them out and work them as individual junk journals. So, it can be two individual junk journals that you can um, have and work with them, or you can replace them, or you can put something else in there. It's completely up to you. Or if you feel them, you can replace them, or, you know, you can take them out and you can put simple pages in there. It's just, I did it, to, I did it like a traveler notebook style, if I may say so. So, let me start. It's, uh, it, I have two signatures, I don't remember how many pages now, and um, on each signature cover I did a sort of collage uh, quilting uh, technique where I took scraps of papers, I have done it in previous junk journals, uh, I, I took scraps of papers, glue them down on a page and then do a zigzag stitch between them and uh, it gives this effect. So, let me start. So, this is the cover of the first signature, and here the charm is easy to remove. Here we have some, we have a pocket from the kit, and we have two tags, and it's actually, I changed the size of the tags, and I maximize them, minimize them. This is the original size, so I minimize them, maximize them, and play with those. And in the back, they are also printed, they are not empty, as you can see. This journal has plenty, plenty, plenty of space for you to write. Also, this pocket is glued around, so you have actually two spots, one inside and one in the back, to place your uh, items. And the theme is a uh, industrial, travelers, it's a really, really beautiful theme, I love this type of Theme. It's a little steampunk. It's a, a, amazing. The paper in the back, the, the pages are double printed. In the back, uh, they have lines and stuff so you can write on. This is a vintage document. I find online and spray with coffee so it will make it a bit transparent. An image I find online. This is actually here. It's a pocket if you wish to use it like that. Some. I have washi tape here and there. This is a stamp image. I told you all my stamps have a similar theme. I have a few stamps, I don't have they fit all in the shoe box. And uh, all my stamps have that theme. I really love that theme. This theme. As soon as I saw the papers, I was wow. So this is another page. This is something like this. This is a vintage map of final line and coffee strings. This is washi tape, believe it or not. Doesn't like that. Here it's the gear that I embossed and look it, uh, make it look like rusted metal, like you have painted. So this is an ephemera. This is the back of it, so the back is not empty. And we have a beautiful envelope from the kit, and inside I put this image. Beautiful pages. It opens like that. This is also a pocket if you can use it like this. This is also a tag spot. Let me show it to you. This is actually a tag spot. It's glue here and here to create a pocket. And in the back, I have this envelope. 
this envelope I did some emboss embossing and then you know distress it and it's actually you can feel it's really really pretty and I like it it's one of the stamps as I told you and we have some paper inside so it won't be empty beautiful paper this is a vintage city map this is a die cut piece that I make it also look like rusted metals like you have paint your you know your metal blue and with the time the rust came a beautiful image of from line and I created a pocket it's stitched there and it creates a pocket and the pocket I put this thing this ephemera and you have place to write in so this goes there and this one open like this and we also have a pocket here plenty plenty this is the center of the signature and you can see the binding it's the stitching underneath that holds the page and on top it's the cord that holds the um, signature on the spine another uh, spot if you wish to put something there beautiful pages a tiny tag spot with a beautiful tag and this is minimized and uh, once again it's not all the way down so you can put something in like a two pocket thing many of stitching stamping with gears this is one of my favorite pages i love this ephemera i really really love it so let's see we have this beautiful page and i did the same technique on this uh, cargo style and did the stitching you know the quilting technique in front of it so we put this here and we have two beautiful ephemeras and this one and pages of coffee stained this is the other side of the map the pages are double side printed they are not single side printed but I also try in the back to print lines so you can write on them if you wish so we have this beautiful page and here I made a gear and actually the gear has a brat and it was spinning this part was spinning but then I put the glue and glue it together yeah me so we have this beautiful ephemera and it goes like that it's a pocket if you wish to call it like this so we have this zeppelin thing and in here we have beautiful ferrets i love this style i love this style a tag that's the actual size of tags let me show you the back washi tape and stuff i have put on it and it goes there like that oh, I love this page so here I have put some washi tape here it's a huge washi tape a white washi tape a stripe of the paper some stamping stitching and if you <laughs> you can work hours and hours and weeks in a journal I mean you can work for weeks weeks weeks, weeks. if you could leave me if I if I wasn't say stop I could work over and over and over with this and do more stopping and more embossing and I don't know what got into me this beautiful hot air balloon this is one of my favorite documents and I got those two I found them free online and um, this is beautiful page from the kid I love this page and their writing and it's, it's, she did so many so good a job with the collaging stuff and the elements so that's the cover of our first signature here you can see the uh, rope or cord that is holding the signatures together 
So this is the second cover. This is the co uh, cover of the second signature. And inside I put some... Uh, I made some pockets and let's take this out so you can see them. So I have uh, this die cut that was given to me by Wanda and I did in this die cut cut it because uh, as I was working with it I broke it. So in this die cut um, I, I emboss it and look it, uh, make it look like metal also. And uh, we have two pockets and um, I made this, I maximized this tag and did the collage technique and decoupage it. So it goes here. And we have beautiful ephemeras. They are double side printed. I print the, my design paper or whatever both sides but in the back I use some simple lines or you know squares so you can write on the back and this is actually also put it there I love the colors of this page this pocket a lot of stitching and stamping and stuff I'm telling you, I got hooked with this and I could work for hours and hours and hours more to add more stuff. If you let me, I would like to add more stuff, but you can spend crazy amount of hours in a journal because it's not... So we have a pocket here with this fuzzy cut ephemera and we have another big tag with the same technique, technique and that's the back of it. With the hot air blue, and we have this ephemera, and this is the title of the kit. It's a wanderer. So beautiful page. So this could be a dream, a woman's or a man's journal. You can remove the charm and he can hold it. And you can use the clock in front as a necklace. Oh, that's a real watch. Clock, sorry. Beautiful pages. So this ephemera was an envelope, a vintage envelope, and I distress it and make it as a pocket. I don't know if you can see it. And we place two ephemeras. So that's the back of it. It has some washi tape stuff. And that's the front of it. It's like a carpet stall. So the fabric goes there. It like that. Stamping, beautiful pages. Love this. So various size of pages in place to write so this is the middle of the signature and I placed this thing I found it online and I really really love it it has so many 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 hot balloons I really love this page so this beautiful thing here it's washi tape and I love these washi tapes and they match it I mean I have only three washi tapes and they match the theme of it I can't believe it or not so place here with beautiful ephemeras that's the back of it and it's the front of it beautiful paper I love this paper this actually that's this amazing thing here it's part of the horseshoe tape love this this page is amazing with the boats shape sorry it's so amazing, it reminds me, you know, this is an ephemera from the kit. It reminds me of Hugo, if you see the movie Hugo, that is what it reminds me. It was an amazing movie, if you haven't seen it, it's an imagination movie. So beautiful things. 
it also reminds me a bit of you know Leonardo da Vinci that has the innovations and so beautiful ephemeras love this plane carpet stall so some of the ephemeras are minimized like this one and this one and some they are maximized you can play with the size of your pages this is coffee stain so it bleeds Actually, this is a print because as I was coffee stain, I put it on the music note that it gave the print here. That's how, how this effect was done. Beautiful pages. And that was my junk journal. I hope you like it and got inspired. This is a pocket actually. And um, Tell me what you think. This is a spot also, and this is an embossed lamp. And that's the back cover of this page. So that's the back of it. And we have map also here, and all around it's hand stitched. So this is my junk journal. Tell me what you think. I would really, really appreciate. Don't forget this video is part of Thanks for Watching Art Hope. So please go and watch all the creative, talented people that are part of this hop. And you will see many, many, many things that you would like and various types of uh, thing, uh, arts and crafts. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone that uh, came to my channel and support me i'm almost uh, 1100 hours away i started really really low i started with um, 70,000 hours and i can i can express my gratitude for travel my hours that i have in one week i have the twice the hours that i have in the whole year so thank you thank you thank you so much uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, Mary Doll and Cinnamon, for hosting this event. Keep watching. Thank you for watching, Art, everyone. Uh, hugs and kisses. We will speak soon. Thank you.